Yo, what's up guys, my name is Mr. Freeze 2244 and welcome to an easy Silent Night Assassin suit only for Withington Creek in Hitman 3. We've been covering these older missions within Hitman 3 to try and give them a bit of a refresh and uh, different routes and more easier strategies. So if you've missed any videos that I've covered so far for this series, you can check out the link in the description of, all, of the full playlist of all the Silent Assassin suit only I've done for all the missions. But for this one, we're going to bring along the ICA-19 pistol. We're going to bring along a briefcase and have inside the briefcase stored a tranquilizer, either the Camel 1 or Camel 2, but it doesn't really matter which one. But uh, we, it, we're only bringing along a tranquilizer purely as a precaution anyway. We're not even going to use it. So from the very start, we need to take out the tranquilizer out of the briefcase and drop it on the floor. Because uh, we no longer need the briefcase, we only brought it just so we can bring along the tranquilizer. Go over to Casty's house and climb this uh, this railing right here. Climb through the window, stand back up immediately, and run to the opposite side of the door. And then subdue this guard. Subdue him. Grab his weapon and then drag his body into the bathroom. It's important that you do exactly what I'm doing and don't uh, skip ahead or do anything else that I'm, uh, other than what I'm doing right now. Don't go around the other side. Just come through this window, uh, this room, and subdue this guy as well. Leave his body in here. Drop the weapon. Pull out your pistol. Shoot that camera there. Open this door, but don't get too close to the the room. And shoot that camera there. And shoot that. So there's a lot of things that you got to shoot there. But the whole point is to lure Cassidy upstairs and bring him into that room. Now, if you've done everything I said and done exactly how I've done it. You'll only have one guard coming up. If you have two guards coming up and one of them doesn't walk away, that is when you want to use the tranquilizer on both guards. If there's only one guard for you, which should happen as long as you've done it properly, all you got to do is to subdue this guard. I'm just going to trank him because I, I may as well. And then we're going to go and shoot Cassidy. Get rid of him. And we can leave all the bodies there. It doesn't really matter. Now we're going to jump out the window. Just be mindful of the guard that could be patrolling down here. Your Jump over this fence, and now we can go and move on to the clues. So we're going to get two clues right now. So one of them is going to be in the shed, which is going to be a set of documents that's going to be on your left as you climb through this window. Grab the shovel Janus before you exit. Just make sure you watch out for Batty there over there on the porch. James Batty. The that's coming over the porch. Once you've uh, bypassed the area, then you can now come over here and dig up the... The cigar box. That's no going to be the second clue. And his unlawful surveillance around town. Just go ahead and grab that. So Don't need the shovel anymore, so you can drop that. Year. Now we're going to head over to uh, Janus and go over to his house. A cigar box and the final cigars, clue is going to be in there as well. well this is now I have a little bit of time between then and there. The uh, I just wanted to point out that James I did come up with another strategy that was one minute faster than this. However, it, for some reason, it just stopped working. <laughs> the distractions seem to be a little, very uh, random in this game right now. The audio distractions, so I had to come up with a completely different route, and this is the result. So I think overall this is more reliable than anything else anyway. But now we're over here into Janice's garden. We're just going to distract that guard right there by the shed and throw a coin in that direction just to get him to look in that direction so we can safely come over here without him looking at us. We're going to wait for this guard right here to move out of the way before we vault through the window. Because Janus is still in the house right now, because we're actually quite quick to get here. And once he moves out of the way, we can jump through the window. Wait for Janus and his guard to leave the house, and then we can throw the cigar box at this guard's head. And we're going to just drag him behind this little counter right here, and then leave him here. Next, we're going to go head into the basement now. We need to take out the guard that's down here and also grab this uh, this photograph right here. The first annual that will be the third and final society. clue. Just going to grab this statue, the throw them out of his head. If grab two more and shoot out the evidence. He's still attending these gatherings, so all we've got to do now at this point this is take out Janus. And Janus uh, is currently outside. Now, usually he is at this door by now, walking past us, but because we're close to him, he, we must have triggered a conversation that he's having there on that uh, on that porch. This is what happens in Hitman 3 now, that if you get too close to your NPCs, they will engage in all their conversations, but if you're further away, they will skip those uh, conversations, which is kind of annoying, really, when you're trying to uh, plot a strategy. But either way, we just have to wait for Janus to come back in the house, and he will walk past this door. And then uh, his guard is also going to walk past it as well. 
And then all we're going to do is just knock out his guard, and then just knock out Janus, and then just break his neck. It's just as really as easy as that. Also, my dog interrupting my, my voiceover again. So there we go. Snap his neck. And okay, now we just head to the exit. It's just as really as straightforward as that. Really simple. I think it's... Uh, I'm really proud of these reroutes that I've done for all these guys because I feel like these are a lot more uh, more efficient and a lot more reliable than they used to be. Despite them, the old ones still working. I just think a lot less can go wrong in these sort of ones, these newer ones. So we're actually going to take the uh, we're actually going to take the manhole exit. So what we need, what we actually need to do is get this crowbar here. You need to be mindful of the people around though, because you don't want anyone seeing you break open this manhole, because it is an illegal action. So just be, be careful of everyone that's around. But uh, once we've exited here, and we get a confirmation that the Silent Assassin, it's just a Silent Assassin suit only in uh, just around five minutes, but it can be done a lot faster, depending on Janus's route. He can come in the house a lot sooner if he, uh, well, he should have he came in the house a lot sooner anyway. But that's going to do it for this video. So thank you very much for watching. Feel free to drop a like on this video if it helped you out. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. And hit the bell notification to be notified of all future videos and live streams. Consider supporting me on Patreon or even becoming a member of the channel by clicking the join button below. Or clicking the link in the description. And I just want to say a big shout out to Paul Lilly, Big D, Bedry, Argel, Mark David, Constantine Mueller and Crazy Jesus. Becoming top tier Cycle Assassin members. If you want to become one of them members that you can read your name out. Then you, all you got to do is just like I said click the join button below or click the link in the description. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Cheers.